Hey guys, it's Coco here at Coco DIYs and in today's video we are doing two things. One, we are going to do a royal baby shower theme which is really awesome. I have my blue and my gold balloons that we're doing, that we're blowing up. This is real, this is happening. Um, and then we're also going to test out two different uh, balloon blowing or balloon inflating techniques. I've seen a lot of tutorials. I've seen people do it both ways, but I haven't seen anyone compare the two ways. So in this video, that's what we're doing. This is where we inflate the balloon, apply pressure to the larger end to create a more rounder balloon, more, more like a ball instead of like a, a cone shape. So at this point we are going to assemble our dupes together by using a 260 balloon. You're going to start with the closed end. You're going to take that closed end and attach it to one set of dupe. You're going to tie it in a knot, so basically a double tie. And once you do that, you're just going to add, keep adding your other dupes. Stretch your 260 as much as you can so that way you know it's secure. And you're going to add your dupes one on top of the other, other in a crisscross pattern. And as you crisscross them, you want to wrap the 260 around one balloon and then wrap it again around another balloon, but in a zigzag motion, which is more of like a figure eight. And you're just going to continue that until you have all your dupes connected together. Okay, so, oh, as I probably already said in the video, um, I didn't like how the uh, balloon set that I ordered had two different shades of, of blue. So there's this shade, that's this. And then there was this shade. Even though they came in the same package, these are actually two different colors. Now this one had oxidized, which is one of the reasons why I couldn't complete my Royal Baby Shower setup. So I'm gonna do the Royal Baby Shower setup in a separate video and just basically make this tutorial more balloon based. So these are two different colors, but I'm going to show you guys some techniques as far as adding these smaller balloons to your garland. So the first technique, when you are adding your smaller balloons, you don't have to make quads like this. Um, if you have really large gaps, you do want to make quads like this. So then that way one of the balloons like snuggles into the gap that you're seeing. The other thing you can do is take one of your 260 long balloons and I like to start at the closed end because the open end I think if you start at the open end it fills up with air or that's how I feel and you just make a dupe and then attach this closed end make sure it's nice and flat attach this closed end by tying it actually so you're gonna double knot that and then you're gonna make sure you keep it flat like that all the way to the open end you're gonna use this open end to tie on sorry I thought I had another dupe well we'll just use this as an example so you're gonna use this open end to tie on to another dupe now if these you can use different size dupes if these are 
if your main base of your garland is you're using 12 inch balloons or 16 inch balloons and they're bigger then your dupe does not have to be a bunch of five inch balloons it could be five inch and then these are actually nine inch so with the with the i guess dumbbell dupe that you made you're gonna take your dumbbell dupe and you're gonna find a fixed point on your garland so this is just a, a uh, group of six that I made just for the example but you're gonna find a main balloon on your garland that's sticking out towards where you're standing and you're gonna take this elastic part and you're gonna go around that balloon okay so then it's all in the middle like that and when you go around that balloon it's going to actually you're gonna actually do this figure eight method that we but then these nestle into the gap and so now instead of the gap looking like this the gap actually looks like this and so that's how you get dimension to your garland that's how you add a little bit of i guess character especially to organic garland and it will make your garland a little more unique so another thing you can do is take your quad or your extra balloons your small balloons that you want to do and you're going to use a large 117 rubber band now these 117 rubber bands stretch just like the um, 260 balloons so you're going to take your main balloon that you want to attach so this is like your attach point you're going to stretch your rubber band over it so that now this is attached like this. Then when you're on your garland, you're going to, again, find a fixed point. Pick a balloon that's facing you. You're going to just twist this and stretch it over of your balloons. And when you do that, again, it fills in the gap. So, you can use this technique um, however you want. I think both techniques work pretty well. Um, again, this is just a comparison video to just help you guys um, figure out how to attach balloons in different ways. Another issue I ran into in this video was my um, shiny balloons that I started with, this deep blue we're actually oxidizing a lot quicker. So they're supposed to be a little more closer to this color. You see the shine on that? Well, they started oxidizing really quickly, which meant I couldn't achieve the effect that I wanted because my balloons were oxidizing. Well, what I didn't think about or realize is that I don't have air conditioning, so it's really hot in my, um, in my house. And so when I was blowing up the balloons using one of these, these things suck in the air that is in the room. So if you're in a 90 degree room, this is gonna suck in, this is gonna suck in 90 degree air, which is gonna go inside your balloon and oxidize it a lot quicker than you want it to. So if you don't care about that, or if you have a color that's not shiny, you're not gonna notice it. But for a balloon that is shiny, like this and you put hot air in it it turns to this ashy so if you don't want ashy balloons I suggest either blowing up your balloons at night um, so that way you can suck in the cool air or you hopefully have air conditioning and you won't have this problem so um, that's just something to think about when you you know now that it is it is the summer and it still feels like summer in a lot of places including California and so it's I had no idea this is the first time I've experienced this okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how the balloons look outside because I really I kind of want to show you how I did it and then you guys can see what I was talking about with the colors so finally we here we have our ashy balloons and I think for both methods it really doesn't really matter which technique you use on this side, you can see that these are the cone-shaped balloons, 
and then on the right side is actually the rounded out balloon so no matter what technique you use i think they're both great and hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys next time